Okay, so this is uh, Professor Gilmet, <clears throat> and we are going to talk today about measurement um, conversion. And uh, one of the ways that we talk about measurement conversion, and we use it in the sciences, is we call it dimensional um, analysis. All right, and dimensional analysis just means we're going to use a fraction um, to help us match up the units and get the conversion in the correct place, right? Um, so let's say that we have the known conversion of 2.54 centimeters is equal to one inch. Well. The idea here is um, that you can actually divide this side by one inch and divide this side by one inch and now of course one inch over one inch is just one and so the idea is that 2.54 centimeters over one inch is unity. It's a value of one and we know that whenever we multiply by one we don't change um, something's value, right? So let's say that we have a 12 inch ruler and for some reason we wanted to convert that into some number of centimeters, right? Uh, you're talking to a friend from Europe or Australia and uh, you have a part that's 12 inches long and they go well h how long is that you know and, and so you need to make the conversion here well the idea is that 12 inches can be turned into a fraction over 1 by rationalizing it and if I multiply by 1 then I don't change its value and so what's the 1 that I'm going to multiply by over here well I'm going to multiply by 2.54 centimeters over one inch and the reason this is the correct conversion and the reason we call this dimensional analysis is because the dimension should reduce the inches reduces with the inches down here in the numerator and the denominator and leaves me with simply centimeters as my unit that's left over. Now, of course, um, you've got 12 times uh, 2.54 and without being able to use a calculator, we're going to have to go over here and do 2.54 um, times 12 and you're going to get 8, 10, carry the 1, 5, um, move over, uh, place value, you get 4, 5, 2, and 8, 4, 10, 3, and then 2 places here and 0 places here means 2 places in the decimal, and you've got 30.48 centimeters. So this means then that the answer to your question is that 12 inches is equal to 30.48 centimeters and that makes us happy All right. now what if we wanted a slightly different problem right what if the problem then was to go ahead and find um, 45 centimeters was how many inches okay well you know we had that proportion right we said well you got 45 centimeters over 1 times 2.54 centimeters over 1 inch but now as you're looking the centimeters are both in the numerator okay so dimensionally these won't reduce so this can't be the right conversion factor for it. You need one in the numerator and one in the denominator. So what we do is we'll just take this conversion and take its reciprocal and put it here. And so 
what you really want is 45 centimeters over 1 times 1 inch over 2.54 centimeters. The reciprocal, right? Just take the numerator and put it in the denominator, take the denominator and put it in the numerator. So the conversion then requires the reciprocal. And now, of course, the centimeters reduce with the centimeters dimensionally. The only dimension I have left over is the inches, which is exactly what I want. And so this is perfect. So now as I multiply straight across, you're going to get 45 inch times 1 inch gives you 45 inches. Over 1 times 2.54 gives you 2.54. And then of course, you have to do the long division on this. So I'm going to go ahead and go over here and take 45.00 and divide it by 2.54. And of course, we've got to move the decimal place over two values, right? So this is going to go one, two over. So this has got to go one, two over. And so the exact division that I really need to do is 254 goes into, oh, my paper's slipping, 4,500, right? So uh, one time here. Uh, borrow 14931196. Now, here's where I'm going to use an estimation strategy, right? If this was 250, two of these would be 500, so four of these would be a thousand, right? So, um, eight of these would be 2,000. Now this is a little bit rounded up and this is a little bit rounded down. So instead of using eight, I'm gonna try seven. Okay, and that's going to be my guess right here. So seven times four is 28, right? 35, 36, 37, 14, 15, 16, 17, and borrow two, and borrow eight, and one right so 182 and so again I can put in a decimal point throw in a zero um, you can oh um, so now I need a seven again the seven goes right there sorry that's still gonna be 1778 uh, two uh, one and one four so you only have 42 left over which is a pretty small number so you have approximately 17.7 uh, centimeters, um, at least rounded to one decimal place. Okay, so that makes us happy right there. Um, this is how you do measurement conversions, um, and another word for it that you'll hear in your science classes is dimensional analysis. And the basic idea is that you can take any conversion, and by dividing one side by itself, you get a conversion fraction equal to one and then you can use those fractions to analyze the dimensions and get the dimension you don't want to reduce out and leave you the dimension that you do want and if the conversion factor isn't um, in the correct spot if the dimension is in the wrong part of the fraction then you can always take the reciprocal um, and flip it over uh, I hope you found this uh, video on measurement conversion helpful, and good luck.